My name is Justin, and welcome to Pisces Printing. Okay, for today's project, it's something I've been working on for a while. Um, we're going to test the vibration absorption rate of some TPU. It's going to be the uh, Ninja Tech Cheetah and the Ninja Tech Ninja Flex. Um, I don't know the exact shore hardness. I'll put that up on the screen here right now. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the rig I have ready to test and we'll get to it. Okay, so what we have here is just a little hobby, um, like, 3-volt to 6-volt electric motor with a 3D printed offset just to give it a vibration. And then I printed off uh, different uh, infill densities of TPU of the two different brands. The Ninja Tech is going to be in black. The Cheetah TPU is going to be in orange. And it's connected with a bolt, so it should resist vibration. And this will pick up how much vibration actually gets through. It's just a ceramic vibration sensor. And this is all connected to an Arduino Nano. And there's an amplifier between them to pick up the signal properly. And then we'll have our data here to put into people terms in far, as far as how good of vibration dampening the TPU does. Okay, so just to give you a kind of a show of how this is going to work, um, every test is going to be ran three times for each density of the TPU. So what's going to happen is I'm going to reset the Arduino to zero our peak, and then I have the uh, constant voltage set at three volts, so the motor will constantly spin the same speed no matter what. And we will turn this on, and we are getting a peak of about 33. So that should be about how this will work for every one of them. Okay, so I ran into a bit of an issue. Um, we're going to run the voltage at 1.5. The 3 voltage was very unstable, and it was kind of getting out of hand with the amps, and it burned up a motor. So. Here we are. Uh, take two. Okay, just real quick on how the TPU is actually held on there. So, it just screws onto the little 3D printed board. Seems like the sensor is picking up a lot of vibration. So, yep, yeah, just pop that bolt out of there. And on to the next. And assembly is the same way. The bolt goes in. Maybe goes in. And then it turns until snug. Like that. Put the motor back in. And off to the next test we go. Okay, so that's done. And the results were interesting and very unexpected. So um, I'll put that up on the screen now. So this is all the data from the TPU tests. And as the number gets smaller, there was less vibration that made it through to the actual vibration sensor because as we see here at the solid PLA it was a 25% infill part 
it averaged a 201 on the sensor. And our Ninja Flex, which was the softer of the material, surprisingly was higher than our harder TPU, the Cheetah. The Cheetah was a 95A shore hardness, and the Ninja Tech Ninja Flex was actually an 85A hardness. So that was a bit surprising to me. Um, so in the future, I know that a bigger infill actually gives a better vibration resistance to parts, which is not how I thought it would turn out at all. But I guess that's why we do experiments. All right, well, if you've made it this far, then thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this. Um, so I have another TPU video in the works, but due to the shipping issues that we're currently experiencing right now, um, the parts to do that are somewhere, and it's it'll just be what it'll be, so. Um, but I do have another video that I'm in the works right now that will probably be up in the next couple weeks, so look for that. Um, thank you. Um, if you enjoyed this, please like it. Um, if you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you.